then uh, another we have a very important uh, concept is uh, the client identifier and you just you can read through it's just a mac address uh, a dhcp client id is added to the dhcp option 61 to uniquely identify dhcp client a dhcp server can assign ip address to the client based on their dhcp client id which is nothing but mac address DHCP client ID includes an ID type and type value. Use the MAC address of an interface to generate the client ID. So, uh, if I can give you the example as well. Sometime in your uh, uh, production environment, you need to identify, let's suppose, the CEO machine. You need to identify the SQL server. Why? First of all, you do not want to change the IPs for these uh, machines frequently. I mean, the CEO of the organization, if you go home, he is using router uh, access point at a home, and then he will return back, he will be given a different IP. We want to avoid this thing. And why we need to do this, I will give you another, uh, uh, the practical implementation for that. The other reason is SQL, let's suppose you are running kind of SQL server. And then you do not want to change the IP frequently for this one. Every time if this server is, let's suppose is down for some hardware reason. And it will come up, you are going to get the same IP again. Okay, you can also ask the question here, why can't we put the static IP here then? Okay, that is also fine. But what I'm going to tell you another thing that is uh, most more relevant to the client identifier. So basically what happens? Uh, we have the AC firewall or any kind of firewall, uh, if I can show you the firewall here, if I have, uh, yeah, this one. So this is how firewall icons look like in Cisco. And then we have, uh, uh, let's say we have the switch and then the, this switch is connected with, uh, no, instead of using this, I just can directly put the in between. Okay, so this could, could be the situation. And now your CEO is angry enough, why? Because the rest of the employee, they are using Facebook all the time and they are wasting their time. CEO demands you as an IT administrator, please just block Facebook pages for these host machines. And for him, no. If you will block Facebook for him, <laughs> you will be fired. Man, that's a discrimination right there, but it's okay. <laughs> okay. So, so this is basically uh, the real uh, practical implementation. CA want to use the Facebook, but not for the, uh, the guest. And it happens a lot in uh, your production environment. Then on a firewall, what you can do, uh, you can identify the CEO with the help of client identifier, which is this one. And you can allow uh, the Facebook for the CEO, but not for the, uh, the host machines or the other employees. So this is also one of the number one reason why we use the SCP client identifiers. So this is just identify in your firewall walls, how you're gonna block uh, uh, the Facebook just for these employees and not for the CEO. Okay. Sorry, I was taking notes, okay. Got the idea? Yeah. Yep. So we use okay, this, the MAC address other, rather than the IP address, basically. Yes, yes. 
and in production environment this happens a lot you don't want to block something for the ceo but for the rest of the employee you want to block so this is how we can identify using the client identifier and we just whatever the traffic we want to pass for the lab that the ceo we can uh we can send through the firewall but the rest of the traffic we can block so yeah this is the logic sorry i use this later on but this is the logic what i want to clarify